Right, so thanks for clicking on the video. As the title says, I'm going to show you how to go from a Figma file to pretty much a fully fledged bubble app that you can deploy, start taking payment, whatever you want to do. So design was created to take non-technical founders, pretty much like myself, I just like to click buttons, and take them from having a static image or having a static design into an app that you can then you know, start to play with. So first things first, go and log into design, design.io, you'll see it at the top here. Create an account, download the Figma plugin, so install this, as well as the Chrome extension. We need these two assets in order to build the, build the web page. From there, it, the Figma plugin is gonna prompt you for an access token. Make sure to copy and paste that in there or generate a new token if it's your first time. So why was design created? Just 30 second overview. Now with the help of AI and these awesome tools in coding like Replit and Bolt, Cursor, etc., it's making it much easier to go to market with a fully fledged app. But you still need to know how to deploy, how to save database, all this other stuff. But Bubble handles all of that. So now you can go from a file to a Bubble web app within 10 minutes. So to prove that to you, I'm going to make one here live. We're going to make a landing page that you can deploy. So inside of design, we have some UI kits that are already created from the Figma community. Now these are really nice because they are auto adjusted layout, which is essential for copy and pasting into bubble. Cause then you have a responsive web page, so you can view it on your mobile tablets or desktop. However, you can do what I've just done, which is searched up Figma landing page template. And this is probably this, uh, this one here is the second one I clicked on. So this is the positivist landing page design. And it's by a guy called Olga. So if you want to check it out, go for it. So all I've done is I've opened it in Figma in a separate tab. Right, so here we go. This is the landing page. Now there's two ways you can kind of use design. You can take individual elements or you can take a whole landing page <laughs> pretty much like I'm going to do. And then you can play with it once it's in bubble. You can play around and you see this, uh, this button's on the far left, but if I want it, I can put it on the, in the middle there. Same with this testimonial section. So let's go over quickly how to pretty much copy and paste an entire landing page. And then I'll show you some, some other templates that we have that you can take little snippets of and kind of Frankenstein a really cool landing page. So step one is on the side here, you can see it's either a hashtag or these two bars. It's important to convert the hashtags into the bars. So the frames into the auto layout because the way design works is it needs the auto layout in order to speak to bubble and create a good landing page. So in order, if you don't have everything in auto layout like this is, you can simply click on it and click shift a done. Okay. So let's select this and we right click and come down to our plugins, which you would have installed from the start of this video. And we go to design and launch. Now we can convert this landing page as it is, and it will work of course, but it won't have the special nodules. So what we want, for example, is this here is a button. So we're going to click that as a button. Same with this. That's a button. Scroll down. Same with this. That's a button. This one here, that's a button. Now here we can get special. So this we can have as input. Input. Have this as a multi-line input. This is a button. This is a, uh, sorry, an input. And this has a button. Great. So now that we've got all of our little assets pinpointed, we can head over to convert. Click on the home, so the entire page. And you can see it gives us a conversion score. Now, obviously the higher, the better. The auto layout is at 62%, as I was talking about before. This could be a little higher, and same with the responsive design. However, I don't have, I won't go through 
changing all the auto layouts in this video. But if you wanted to, you could take the time, make sure that everything, so for example, this, this testimonial block, let's control A, turn that into a auto layout. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so uh, see, it's still got a pretty low score, but let's see how it goes. So we click back on home. It's now 61%. So we're going to go convert to bubble. Now what that's going to do is copy. We go to our bubble, our bubble app. This is brand new. I just made this. Make sure that it is a column. And as well, I like to set it as 1400 as the default builder width. Cool. So once we're in here, let's launch our Chrome extension for design. And you can see these are all my previous designs that I've been copying and pasting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to favorite this one and call this marketing agency landing. Cool. So let's go to our favorites and there it is. So we're going to copy it. It's ready to go. We right click onto our canvas and paste. And now, for smaller designs, it will take much faster, but for larger designs, as you can see, it takes a couple seconds. So just give it a bit of bit of time. Now, a couple of these vector images, as you can see, have rendered in a in a column. Um, what you could do, either delete them or you could take the time to put them in the right spot. But for this uh, for this video, I'm just going to delete them. So just keep deleting. And that should be good. So as you can see, this is a button, so we can do workflows on it because inside of Figma, we selected this node as a button. Same with this um, request a quote. Um, and obviously it, it does a very good job at exchanging things, but some things you're gonna have to tweak. So as you see, as we go down the page, we're gonna have to just tweak a few little things here and there, delete this, edit that, Etc. Etc. But as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. So let's actually let's just lower this gap down to maybe ten. There you go. Let's delete this bottom half. So we only have three three team team members. Let's make this into the middle. Um, yeah, the testimonial section could be a little bit better. Let's just for this for this video. Let's make this a little bit better. Let's not make that a set width. And we'll take him into the middle. Perfect. Um, continuing down the page. This is also kind of just screwed up a little bit, but let's just delete it. Okay, it's looking a little bit better. A little bit better. Okay. Now for certain images, design will default to an image placeholder. And it just does that so you can put in your own images or it couldn't find the root file. So no worries on that. Um, yeah, it's looking quite nice. So that was a couple clicks and we've got pretty much a working landing page and we can just do the back end workflows. So you can put in your own photos here. Um, you can make this work workflow. Let's make this into a, into the center. There you go. And let's put this background. There you go. There you go. So as you can see, you've got a working landing page within a couple of clicks. So let's preview this. Let's turn the debug mode off. Ah, I see what's going on. So all it's done is just made the layout to the left. So I'll just click the top here, change this index. Yep, that's fine. Let's check the group home. Let's make that horizontal there. 
cool. And there we go. We have got a landing page in a couple minutes. And obviously you can do the back end workflows. Like I said before, you can fill out all this information. You can change these um, image placeholders, make links, change all the text you want, make these buttons workable testimonials, put an image in here and then make sure you can make these icons clickable. So it scrolls through same with the contact us. You can just do a bit more designing, make this, um, not fixed width or fixed height, sorry, and make this a fully functional landing page. So yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll get do my best to get back to you. Um, but yeah, check out design, check out this landing page as well. And yeah, thank you for watching.